conga dancing we did this week. We really need these pedicures. How is it that every week we get caught dancing and it's not our thing, but I think we're doing it. We're pulling through, right? <laughs> so this week we talked to Gloria and Emilio Stefan. Touring is probably the toughest part of this whole career. They know what they're doing. Not to mention they have a Broadway show and we got to hang out with their cast backstage of On Your Feet. So you're about to be really jealous of me right now. Look who I got to interview. Who is that? <laughs> that is Instagram's hottest doctor, Dr. Mike. I all of a sudden feel like I need a checkup. Feeling flush. So the only thing that might look better than Dr. Mike has got to be those milkshakes. Like, they were amazing. Gosh, yeah, and just like Dr. Mike, they have their own Instagram account, too. I can't believe that people will wait in line for hours to try one. I can, and we did it. But <laughs> worth it. I don't know, is this the conga? It is, it is. It's a fun song either way. All right, it is the weekend, it is Saturday. This is Studio 5. I'm Jen Lommers. And I'm Megan Wright. And this is DJ Shortcuts getting us ready to conga. Now, as we know from last week, we are not the best dancers, not yes, at all. But we, we can admit it. We can feel the rhythm, we just have no rhythm. Correct. Now, this song right here, 1985, yep. it started it all off way before J Lo, Mark Anthony, and Shakira dominated the charts. Yep. You had the Miami Sound Machine and Gloria Estefan. Yes, this was the original. And now we have a Studio 5 exclusive. All right. Where Gloria and Emilio sit and talk to us about how they broke barriers for Latino artists. Some say you can divide pop music into two eras before conga. Wake me up and after conga. 1985 was the year everything changed. Cuban-born Gloria Estefan and Miami Sound Machine released Conga and paved the way for every Latin pop star to come, but not without hurdles. It's hard to think of it as obstacles because we had such a great time. And when I joined the band, it was for fun. I, you know, I took care of my dad during high school. I didn't have a social life to speak of. And music was my escape. It's what got me through the toughest moments of my life. With many Latino artists dominating the pop charts today, it's hard to imagine a time when they had no presence. It was really hard to come up with a new sound. I mean, at the time, you have to change your last name or they don't even think they're going to promote something. We didn't have vehicles or radio stations, you know, TVs, I mean, networks, and, you know, I mean, more so the, the, I mean, the biggest network would never do something because they was worried about ratings. Oh, yeah. An irresistible hybrid. It wasn't straight up pop music and it wasn't straight up Cuban. It was something that nobody ever heard before. And it was being performed by a Cuban artist, but in English. The rhythm is gonna get you. Every time they would tell us no, it almost fired us up, you know? Oh, go, oh, really? No? Okay, let's see. We can't go this way, turn around here, go over, go under, go around. And we were our biggest cheerleaders. And it was, every step of the way, we were convinced that we had a sound and that it would be successful because we had people we played it to, different cultures, and they all loved it. So it was taking convincing these guys that were kind of in the way a little bit that our stuff was going to work, and it was very exciting and fun every step of the way. Legendary Cuban-American DJ and artist DJ Laz remembers working at a radio station in Miami at the time of Conga's release. Before Spanish music was just Spanish music and only Spanish people could like it, after Conga, that definitely knocked down the door and paved the way for everybody else to start making these songs with Latin influences, and, you know, look where we are today. You hear a little bit of Miami Sound Machine and, and all the artists that have come out today, you know, the j -Lo's, the Mark Anthony's, the Pitbulls. I mean, without a doubt, they were the, the people that knocked on the door. They were at the forefront of this movement, and it's just, they opened the door and everybody else just ran through it. 30 years later, Gloria Estefan is an international sensation. She has seven Grammy Awards and has sold over 31 million records. All right, Jen, so I've got to make it back to Miami. Now, not just to party with my friend <laughs> DJ Laz, but also for the weather. I mean, seriously? Oh, for sure. Well, a little bit of Miami is actually coming to New York. Our Simone voice got to hang out with the crew backstage. You have a front row seat to the sexy, spicy, fun-loving musical on your feet. 
the crowd just goes wild for these performers inside the Marquee Theater. We're talking conga lines in the aisles, anything goes. We're going to have a little dance party of our own with the cast and the leading lady, Anna Villafagne, who plays Gloria to a T. Get on your feet. I never would have thought, at least, that, that this role would come along, that this particular that being on Broadway would come along, you know, so it's kind of like a fairy tale. I'm sitting there watching the show, and of course, your hair, your <laughs> face, your body, the way you move, and your voice, you sound so much like Gloria. When I knew I was going to audition, I immersed myself not only in the original records, but, um, but in, in performance videos. Mm -hmm. So I've been able, there's so much footage on her, and she's such an icon that, like, I've been able to really do my homework and really study this woman. <laughs> This is a really intimate story between Gloria and, and Amelia. We've it is. We've known each other for, what, a year now? Mm-hmm. We've known each other for about a year, and just from the first reading, you know, uh, from uh, when she walked in, there was just a, an understanding there, you know? We both just kind of understood, who, or at least we wanted to understand who these people were. same high school as Gloria. I did, yes. We, I know exactly where she comes from. I understand that already. What's the most valuable insight that she or, or Emilio gave you as you guys were developing this show? Um, they've given me a lot of insights. Emilio is always very adamant about enjoying it. He'll be like, you gotta enjoy it, baby. This only happened once, baby. You gotta enjoy yourself. This is your time. And that's what, and that's what he tells me over and over and over. And then from Gloria, I mean, there's a lot. Every day, you know, I can, I'll text her and I'll just be like, oh, you know, did you ever feel like you were going crazy and like, you know, where all of my energy is going to this one thing and then other things are disappearing and like, and she helps me kind of stay grounded. Tell us where we're going right now. All right, we are going up to the fourth floor here at the Marquee Theater at On Your Feet to have some Cuban coffee, which is our pre-show ritual in the boys' dressing room. So I hope the boys are ready for this. All right, Guayo. Here's a code. Gentlemen. Hello. Salsa party. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Deal, okay? Yes, 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 that is the yeah. good stuff. That's the sugar, right? Yes. And that's how you get now this beautiful little yes. Growing up in Miami, you find it on every corner. There's a little window, and you can go and order the different variations. Good. 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 Next, I check up on a doctor everyone's checking out. It's hard to go anywhere without recognition now. My house call on Instagram's hottest doctor. Then, get out the whipped cream. You make it look so easy. easy. Jen and I are shaking things up. Welcome back to Studio 5. I'm Megan Wright. And I'm Jen Lommers. We have DJ Shortcuts here. Now, the name Shortcuts, does that have anything to do with your barber past? I mean, yes, I started both at the same time. I started DJing and barbering at the same time. However, uh, I'm a retired barber, and we just, we're, just, we're just on the turntables nowadays. And now we can find you at some of the city's hottest nightclubs. Where are you going to be this week? Uh, yeah, I'm the resident DJ at Tuesday Baby Tuesday at mm -hmm. Up and Down. And, That's um, a fancy spot. Yeah, I know a lot of celebrities go uh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Something Come like on. that. It's all very VIP, right? Yes, and if you anywhere else you can find me on uh, shortcuts.com. That's S H O R T K U T Z dot com. And my Instagram is at DJ Shortcuts. Oh, perfect. There we go. Now is the only non DJ here. Uh, Jen, I I've think, been uh, wanting can I how I can I get in on this? Do. Really? Ready? Okay. Right. Yeah. Ready? <gasps> there we go! <laughs> Something happened! <laughs> <laughs> thank you. you. Thank it you. Worked. Shortcut, okay. thank you so much for hanging thank out with us and rocking with us. Yeah. Studio so 5. Your temperature rising? It's hard to go anywhere without recognition now, yeah. which is something so new for me. Meet the doctor setting Instagram on fire. DMZ, we're all over New York. Cuba coming out of up and down nightclub. He's like, Are you fast yeah. enough to keep <laughs> up with me? And it starts to run away. DMZ, weeknights on Fox 5 at 6 30. South Carolina reaction after the Palmetto State votes. Where do we go from here? Chris has must-see analysis and insight on Fox News Sunday. 
What's the most awarded car company of the year? Ranking from top to bottom. Luxury cars seem like they would be top awarded. There better be some awards behind what you're paying for, right? The final answer? Uh -oh. Oh. Chevy, the most awarded car company two years in a row. Wow, it's like a luxury car. I was shocked. I mean, it's like, this is Chevy? Current qualified competitive lessees can get a sign and drive lease on this Chevy Cruze Limited for around $148 per month. Drive yours away this President's Day. Visit your local Chevy dealer. Here in Vineland, New Jersey, home of Progresso, we know the secret ingredient to a great minestrone. Dirt. California dirt with a rich blend of nutrients that produces amazingly flavorful tomatoes. The best vegetables, like those we use here in Vineland, come right from the earth. So if you're not gonna make the minestrone yourself tonight, do what we do. Make it progresso. Own the detour. Own the view. Own the scenic route. The Own the Adventure sales event is happening now. Land Rover, above and beyond. To introduce the new Infiniti QX50, we could have shown it on a winding mountain pass or somewhere even more cliche, like a downtown street. But what distinguishes the Infiniti QX50 isn't where you can take it, it's how you feel taking it there. Welcome back to Studio 5, DJ Shortcuts with the remix of Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing. Now, Jen. I can only imagine why you asked him to play this. Yes, there is a reason, and he is the reason. People Magazine's Sexiest Doctor Alive has been what? described as the real-life Dr. McDreamy. How did you find him? Well, hey, just check his Instagram account, and you'll see why, right? So I decided to take one for the team and go one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Mike. Such a hard job. People Magazine's Sexiest Doctor Alive, and his Instagram account has women all over the world wanting a checkup. Even with his scrubs, I mean, the man is, he, he has a style all of his own. On social media, the strikingly handsome 26-year-old is known simply as Dr. Mike, but his real name is Mikhail Varshavsky. He moved here from Russia when he was six. I didn't speak any English. Actually, the three words that I did know was yes, no, and maybe. <laughs> and when I went into first grade, when the teachers asked me a question, I said yes. She didn't really buy it. She asked another question. I said no. Then she asked another question. I said maybe. She knew I had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> His father inspired him to pursue medicine. He was a doctor, too. When we came to America, actually, it was very difficult for us. Uh, we were immigrants. We all, my whole family lived in a one-bedroom apartment, a very small one. Today, Dr. Mike lives on Staten Island, and he's a second-year resident at Overlook Medical Center in Summit, New Jersey. Being a family practice physician, I deliver babies. Yes, that's right. He delivers babies, too. I work in the OR doing surgeries. I see patients in the office. Dr. Mike began documenting his journey through medicine on his Instagram account, building a following of about 100,000 people on his own. But that all changed once he got a call from People Magazine. They reached out to me a couple of months earlier because of my social media fame. Yeah. And they said, we'd like to have you as the sexiest doctor alive. I thought it was a joke <laughs> when it first <laughs> happened because I never considered myself a sexy guy. The rest of the world sure did. And in a few short weeks, Dr. Mike's Instagram account went viral to a million and a half followers. Now he's a bona fide celebrity on the red carpet, traveling the world, and hanging out with Hollywood stars. I'm sure you get a lot of requests and messages from ladies and from men as well. What's ironic about it is I'm a family practice physician and I preach preventative care. Yeah. So most of my visits, my patients are coming in to not get sick. Yeah. But all the messages and requests I get are people telling me that they're going to throw themselves down the stairs, they're going to get hit by a car. All that fame and attention could go to anyone's head. But Dr. Mike looks at it as a means to an end, promoting his foundation, Limitless Tomorrow. I wanted to evaluate students as a whole, listen to their story, see what their goals were, and give out scholarships based on that. And partnering up with Coffee Meets Bagel for uh, this date, uh, for charity idea we had, is exactly how I'm going to get there. The dating app auctioned off a date with Dr. Mike and in two weeks raised close to $100,000. And the lucky girl? 
We do have a winner. Uh, her name is Ashley. She's yep. from Florida. She's a pharmacist. That's all I know so far because this was just announced. But I'm really excited. And Ashley will be happy to know that Mike is single and looking for someone to settle down with. You said when you first came here you only knew three words in English. Yes, okay. no, and maybe, right? Okay. Which is good because that's all you're going to need to know for these next few questions. Okay. Um, all right. So would you ever consider dating one of your patients? No. <laughs> what about another doctor? Maybe. Okay. Um, have you ever gone on a date with somebody from Instagram? Yes. So what is he looking for in that special someone? The person I'm looking for is obviously intelligent. Yeah. Um, being a physician, you want someone that can relate to you. You can speak on subjects outside of just fashion and modeling and that kind right. of thing. Um, but also I want a person that's understanding and willing to grow. That's really what I look forward to, meeting someone that I can have a child with, uh, have a good life with and really make some sort of difference in the world whether it's with our child with our jobs whatever it may be right because you have to be a team you know exactly teamwork that's what I'm yeah. about whether it's in the office or at home with the wife it's all about teamwork all right so Jen is he single I think he is but I don't see how it can stay that way now how long did it take you to do that interview exactly three weeks <laughs> <laughs> well you know I think that after that we can we can use a little cool off right I've got a great idea milkshakes coming up milk Milkshake madness. Ooh. Oh my god. Are these milkshakes better than yours? We are back on the road here at Black Tap in Soho. Joe Isidori, Chef Joe. That's me. So, okay, you guys are known for your burgers until the BuzzFeed article came out about all these amazing gourmet milkshakes Crazy that you have. Crazy shakes. Like a shake, shake it like a milkshake till it drop. Call them crazy shakes. Crazy shakes. Because, I mean, you got to be nuts to even eat one of these things. <laughs> we kind of explain them like Willy Wonka on steroids. The other day, I felt like I was giving golden tickets at the front door. So many people were coming. I talked to people in line. It's, like, ridiculous. I mean, it's, like, a really long line. They're huge. They're massive. I'm going to eat Oreo. I was almost one of those people. I'm not even kidding. I've been, I'm sure there's so many people who stalk you. I've been one of those people who've been stalking this place. I appreciate the stalking. Listen, it, it's crazy because you can even see on your Instagram the point where everything Changed. You know it tastes so good. Did you know this was gonna happen? Did you have any no idea? Clue. No clue. No okay. clue. I opened up a burger joint. I didn't expect to become a sweet shop. You wanna make a shake? I wanna make a shake. Let's, Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Okay. So so we're gonna make our most popular shake, which is a cotton candy shake. And these are all gluten free, right? Sure, they're whatever you want them to be. Gluten free, low fat, no calories, calories. Yeah. zero. So the, the trick we plead the fifth yeah. on the calories. Okay. So the trick is the icing around the side. Okay. 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 All right. So once you get the icing you can kind of like adhere any candies you want. So roll yeah. that into those truffle Now, pearls. was, was okay. this a uh, trial and error, like when you first started doing this, or did you have some kind of well, idea? I got to give give my wife credit. She okay. came up with the cotton candy shake, and then I got with my assistant, Brittany, and she came up with the rest of the shakes. So uh, we kind of just like launched like five or six of them, and these are the three that stuck. Because it doesn't look like any of this should it's actually be together, okay, cool. but it does. It, does. Well, it looks you know, like if I did this, it would fall apart. But my goal is to get a job here. You know this. No, when I'm done. Well, just so you know, yeah. we're in outer space right now, so okay. we defy gravity right. with these shakes. Okay. So that, that's it's trick, true. Right? You don't realize. Okay, so she's got the candy on yes, the icing. All right. all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a strawberry shake in here. Everybody loves a Could strawberry. Could you choose also. or is it strawberry? That's For that one, it's strawberry. We stick to strawberry. Okay. We sell about a thousand of these bad boys a day between two locations, one in Seoul, one in meatpacking. So how much whipped cream do you go through? How much How much ice cream? Well, well put it this way. When the whole rage hit, I think I bought about a thousand gallons of ice cream. When I called up my ice cream guy, I said, send more. He said, I can't. You bought it all. <laughs> so now we've got the whipped cream on top of the shake. Yeah. And the magic's going to happen. Grab some of that cotton candy. I can do all it. All right. This break it up. Easy. Throw it on the whipped cream. But like just Which however I want. I am want. so happy right now. Go for now. it. Just do it. I don't think I'm grab good at a, this. Grab a lollipop. <laughs> Stick a lollipop in there. In the middle, in the center. Go for it. Go okay. for it. Really? Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. We got it. Wait. Teamwork. Teamwork. All right. So now here, everyone, okay. stick a rock candy in there. Hold it. There it is. The world famous cotton candy oh. shake. Oh. Enjoy. It let's, looks so good. It is. It is. So let's stick a straw Jen, in you're there. So kind of. Yes. It's, it's what I do. It's what I do. So, so here. would you serve this, like a one that looks like this? No. Why wouldn't I? We, we did good. It's not. We did it's, great. We, yeah, okay. We made the cut. Okay. It's not so? too ratchet. All right. No. Ratchet? Fine. No, it's no. beautiful. It's okay. Right. Right. okay. So okay. why don't you drink some? Go for it. All right. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. 
Stop it. Shut your mouth. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the, these guys right here. So we have our three shakes here. One, the cotton candy, yeah. which we just did. The uh, cookie shake, which is like the old school chip witch stuck in the middle There's of the shake. There's a full ice cream <laughs> sandwich on top. And this is a big time seller. Sweet and salty, chocolate, peanut butter, pretzels, sugar daddies, Reese's peanut butter cups, and a peanut butter shake. Hey, Joe, thank you so much for having us. We have been plotting this for so long. Yeah. And finally, we are here. Well, thanks for coming. This I was really excited was. to make shakes with you. Dream come true. That's it. Well, Willy ready? Wonka dreams come true. That's right. <laughs> we have the golden tickets right That's now. It. Enjoy. You ready? 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 Three, two, one. Brain Free breeze. breeze. The only thing that might look better than Dr. Mike has got to be those milkshakes. Yes. Did you? Did we have those? Yes. We did. They were good. Looper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you coming out? Because <laughs> why is that light red? And why was that? Okay. Where, are we, where are we looking? Oh. When do I start? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Have you ever gone on a date with somebody from Instagram? Yes. <laughs> do I don't know why it? I'm doing this like spitball, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. good. It's good. good. Yeah. Where Gloria and Emilio sit and talk to us about how they changed and broke barriers for Latin, Latino artists. <laughs> changed in the book. <laughs> look, 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 look. Sorry. Okay, so we are. Wait, so welcome back, right? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Okay. Good? All right. All right. <laughs> sorry. Welcome back. We are.